guys, I'm just drinking my tea while Tigger walks all over me. So, uh, yeah. So just do get a cup as well, guys, because you're in for a treat today. Let's put my tea there. So, guys, let me just cream my hands before we get started. Because I think I probably need to give you some just hands in a minute. Because I'm suspecting... Oh, that's the cream I'm using, by the way, just in case you wondered what it was. Yeah, it's the Big Softy by Dirty Works. And it's um, body butter. Really nice. So, uh, yeah, anyway. So, I just thought I'd cream my hands because there's nothing worse than when you're watching back your video and you see dry knuckles. Ain't no one got no no dry knuckle sandwich around here. Hello. Nope, 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 nope. But, guys, I'm suspecting by the time you see this or this video comes out, we would have hit 3,000 because I was looking at it in the morning and we were literally like two away. So I'm hoping by the time you see this, we would have hit 3,000. Yay! Jazz hands, jazz hands. All nice and moisturised. So guys, warm, warm welcome to my channel. My name is Lois. For those of you who don't know me, warm, warm welcome to you. And for my returning subscribers, my Gs, my day ones, thank you for deciding to spend some time with your girl and see what we've got in store today. Guys, I am excited about today's haul. Because there's some hauls you really like. And there's some hauls you're kind of like, okay, yeah, I'm cool. But there's some hauls that's kind of like, get you buzzing, you know what I mean? So, today is all about B&M. And I feel like I haven't been there for ages. They've got some really, really nice stuff, so stay tuned. But first things first, let's do candle of the day. So, this one is called Bergamot and Black Tea. This is really, really nice. And it looks so sleek. And this is actually from Sainsbury's. And it's part of their new range that they've brought in in the last few weeks or so. Um, and it's really, really nice. A very much a sophisticated, elegant, hotel type of vibe. Very boutique style. They actually describe the candle as boutique. And um, it's got the notes of like cedar wood, sandalwood, amber, um, lily, freesia. But it's not flowery, but it's very, it's sweet, like hotel type of style. Do you know what I mean? But um, it's really, really nice. And they've got it in the small jars. The small jars don't come with a lid. And they've got the large jars that come with a lid. So the lid is also, it's also good like a, a sort of um, a coaster as well. So the lid would sit on top like that. But when you're not using it or you are using it, shall I say, you would put it down like that and that's your coaster. So that is um, bergamot and black tea. Guys, don't sleep on Sainsbury's. They're doing some nice candles, but they're not cheap. They're not the most expensive candles around, but... The price point is a little bit high considering that they're not like a a big brand like Bath and Body Works or um, Yankee or what have you. Do you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying. But anyway, let's get into this haul and let's get started. Right. So when I was in B&M this week, I went in there to pick up some essential items. And I'll tell you what I'm searching for the most. And I can't seem to find it anywhere is the Pink Stuff Toilet Cleaner. Now, you guys would have saw me bring that to the channel a few weeks ago, and I can't find it anywhere. I mean, I found it online, but to do an online purchase, you then got to buy quite a few things. Or I might just buy like a box of 10 or something at this rate. I found it online, but I'm trying to find it in store, and I can't find it anywhere. That's what I went for, and you might have a few other bits. But what I'll do, the haul I've got today, I've got some non-essential items, which you know I'm going to look around the whole store since I'm there. And I've got some essential items. So I'll start with the homeware stuff first. Yeah. So the first thing I picked up, it, well, not the first thing I picked up, but what I'm showing you in B&M is this lovely flower arrangement. Now, this is so nice. And they had this in silver. They had this in the rose. This is the rose gold. And um, did they have the ordinary gold? I don't know. There wasn't much when I went there. The, the, the silver and this one was there. But I'm sure 
when I went last time I saw this in the in the um ordinary gold but this is coming in at five pounds and on top is just a bunch of white roses um and it's really really nice and you know I'm a lover of um faux flowers but the flow flowers flow flow flowers the faux flowers have got to look good if they look naff or look like something I just picked up out the road hello no 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 if you're gonna buy faux at least let them look like realistic faux. Do you get me? <laughs> but this is lovely. And this is a fiver. And it just looks so elegant and nice. Not quite sure where I'm going to put this yet. I mean, I need a new flower display for here because I've been had this one for weeks, guys. And I like to change things around. So it might be that it might go there. Or rose gold. It might go in my office. Who knows? But that's a fiver. So that's really nice. The other thing I picked up there for my office as well is that um, our kettle practically died to death. So I picked up myself a new kettle and I was really, this wasn't the one I was after actually. This is um, Blow Punk or Brew Punk. I'm not sure how you say it, but I know Blow Punk used to do speaker boxes and, and car cassettes. Car cassettes, those who remember car cassettes say, hey, yeah, car cassettes. For you, those of you millennials or young little ones who don't know what car cassettes are, they are like your stereo in your car and you could pull it in and out. I'm showing my age now, isn't it? Anyway, they did car cassettes back in the day. So when I'm saw them doing kettles, I thought, really? And I thought, Do you know what? I'll take a chance on it just because of the colour, the rose gold effect. I really like that. And I thought for the office, that would just fit perfectly. Um... But also, what I love about it as well, it's iridescent. So when you, I mean, the kettle's not in here right now, that's why I'm tossing around the box. But when I used it, um, as soon as I got it home, I used it. I sort of like, you rinse it out, like boil it, rinse it out, fry it in water, and then you use it. And then it changes colour. It changes like blue to pink to orange to yellow. Really, really nice. This came in at £30, guys. It's a little bit expensive considering it's blow punk and they make music. I know they make other technical things. Well, not technical, but other, other electrical things. Yeah, they make other electrical things. But I'm thinking, all right, I'm going to try give it a try. But I'm very pleased. When I actually saw it boil and all the colours light up, I was really, really chuffed. So, um, yeah, I got that. So let's put that box to the side. The other thing I picked up in there as well. Yes, Tigger, you're talking. You like the kettle. Tigger said she likes the kettle. Right. The other thing I picked up in there was this cosmetics organizer and this came in at three pounds. And the reason I decided to get this, because you know, I'm, I'm into this organization in a minute. I've got a bit organizational mad. But why I'm actually um, picked this one up is because um, when I sit and do my nails, because now I mean, I used to do my nails years ago and then I got into wearing the acrylics and the gel, the gel nails. And for a year, yeah, we ain't done no gels because of um, <laughs> lockdown. So I'm now getting back to the old routine of doing my nails. But also I like to have my little, little nail um, pots in front of me, like my oil, my cuticle oil, or um, the other hardeners, or the base coat. I've got it in a little bag, but trying to get things out of a bag when your nails are like got stuff on it, it's a bit tricky because you can also damage the base. So I said, I'm going to get a proper organiser. So when I'm sitting doing my nails, I've got everything in here and it's all, and I can even put the, the, the um, nail varnish remover in here, the cotton buds, the little um, long cotton buds as well when you're doing the tie up around the edges. Hello. Everything in one place. So that was three pounds, guys, for that. The other thing I picked up in there as well was this beautiful plant. Now, this is a bamboo plant, and this looks so real. I mean, I've seen so many bamboo plants. Bamboo? Bamboo, yeah. I've seen so many bamboo plants that look like a hell no. Do you know what I mean? But this one actually looks really nice, and it looks quite realistic as well. The thing is, guys, I can't have necessarily real plants because my cats think it's theirs, and they try to chew it. Take a sip, right? Yeah, I wasn't talking to you though, Tigger. I was talking to the people then. Tigger? Yeah, don't knock the camera. Come, Chew. Come. Come. Come.
see, she wants to be in every every shower of rain, as my mum would say. You're in every shower of rain. <laughs> Come on, Tiggs. Yeah. So anyway, as I was saying, so when I brought this in, my other plot, I like the plot, my other cat, Lucy, she looked at it. Now, she doesn't make an appearance often, but she decided to come and investigate. What, what is this sorcery business you're bringing inside the house? So I thought to myself, if you touch the plant, we're going to have a problem. So she went up to it and she, Tigger, don't knock the, oh gosh. Tigger, please sit down, sit. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you like you understand what sit means. She doesn't know what sit means. <sighs> okay, she doesn't know what sit means. She's just sat down. So anyway, she kind of came in and she looked at the plant like, what is this sorcery you're bringing in? <laughs> the way she looked at me like, and I was like, I thought, don't touch it, you know. And she kind of went near it and she went, I said, don't. And she looked at me like, you and whose army? And she went to, I said, get the hell out of here, I said. And she did, because she know once I raise my voice, once we go to certain octaves, she knows she better keep it moving quickly. So I'm going to have to hide this somewhere or it'll be a, have to be a cat free zone because they think, listen, you know cats eat plants as medicine, don't you? Well, this is not medicine, this is plastic. Anyway, I digress. You don't want to hear my stories, do you? Anyway, this came in at £10 and I was really ch Tig, look, you're going to have to keep your bum one place, Tigger. You cannot keep doing this. She sat down now. Ugh. Do you want to see her? Because uh, maybe that might calm her down. Hold on. Tigger. Tigger. Come, Tigger. Come. Come. Oh, this is, we, we go through this every time. Uh-huh. All right, this might do it. Come here. Come here. She's just making noise now. Yeah. And and knocking my my thing. Yeah. She's a little bit confused. She doesn't know what to do. She's like, should I come for it? Yeah, come for it. Why is it every time I'm in here and I'm opening treats or uh, dreamies for this little girl? Huh? Yeah, she's just looking the camera con continuously. Come. Yeah. Yeah. And she's gone again. And she'll just continue to knock the camera. Do you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to put some down here for her. And that way she'll keep quiet. Eat your... Eat your... your... <sighs> so, guys, I bought some dreamies for the cats. And just in case you want to know. I was going to show you this in the food section. But clearly, Tigger has ruled the day. This was 95p. Let's put it there, shall we? Okay, then. Right, I showed you, I showed you the bamboo plant, didn't I? I showed you the bamboo plant, so uh, let's keep it moving. Right, I also picked up this guy's a candle. Yeah, I know I said I wasn't buying anymore. I, I know, I know, I know. But you know when you see the certain prices and you see this big crackle wick? And this is from the Heritage Collection. And this one was four ninety nine, And this is actually... Um, Crackling natural wooden wick. It has got a name, amber musk. Yeah, amber musk. And there it is, guys. And it's actually like a three-layer cake, kind of um, kind of candle. It says new and improved. And it has got a very musky smell. It's got a really, really, really musky smell. Quite nice. Um, and it says here, inviting sweet scent, top notes of black currant and rosemary on base notes of amber, sandalwood, and vanilla. Ooh. I don't know about cherries, but I can smell the sandalwood and I can smell the vanilla. So yeah, definitely worth um, looking at, guys. Haven't burnt it yet, I can't tell you what it's like, but I always willing to try them for a fiver. 
it's not bad big candle for a fiver right the other thing i also picked up in there as well were the set of baskets and as you know i'm really into the storage thing and i'm a little bit upset but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna hold it i'm going to release it right do you remember i brought you some baskets very similar to this in my amazon haul and i paid four times the price admittedly that one is of better quality and this one is more roughly finished like there's it's some bits around here you can see that are not as um well done yeah take it off my foot so you've got these bits around here not so well done like around here and all that but at the end of the day this was a fiver for three look i'm not even joking with you let me show you let me show you the ticket three baskets five pounds ticker oh my days get off look, just look go and go and find a seat <laughs> like she's really gonna go pick up a chair <laughs> oh my god my mommy said that to me go find a seat <laughs> you know she ain't gonna go find a seat look guys this video is gonna take me forever because she just keeps coming and knocking everything every minute why don't you sit up here or something? Sorry, guys. Three bamboo baskets for five pounds. Yeah. This other thing that I picked up. Oh, gold wire baskets. Now, you're going to think I'm soon a bit of a basket myself. The amount of baskets. But I'm just in love with these baskets. Don't you think they're so nice? And this has got like the kind of a retro kind of um style that's going on right now and this is really nice really nice and this is a fiver as well straightforward basket and it's got the lovely zigzag sides so yep pick that up as well what i actually want that basket for is because um the amount of foot mark foot mask and foot thing and hand mask and did it and i'm sort of lining them up in my basket so I've just got them there when I want to use them straight away and I can sort of flick through it and see which ones I want to use when I want to do my hands and my feet or my face. Yeah, everything has to have a place. Right, so what have I got next? Guys, this is the bargain of the day. This little beauty, this Mongolian fur. What is it? Is that a blanket? It's a Mongolian throw. The colour is beautiful. Blush. Now, this will really work with my bed because I have a lot of, um, well, I have a mixture of like, my colours are in between pink and mink. Pink and mink. <laughs> but so the blush works really, really well because it goes with both. My headboard and everything. So I saw this and look at the price. £25. £25. When, I'll just lean on it for a bit, shall I? When I went to the counter... And the guy ran it through. He said, £10. I said, excuse me, I'm sorry, what? He said, I said, can you check the price again, please? He said, no, it's £10. I said, uh, really? I said, but... Now, some of you were thinking, Lois, shut up and just keep going. But you know what? I like to be straightforward and like to know what's going on. I said to him, is it £10? He said, yes, it's coming out as £10 because... Um, I think it might have been the last one in their store or I'm not sure if somebody brought this back from another store and they don't normally stop this one. So maybe, I don't know what the reason was, but £10. £10, hello. Love it. And this is actually um, 130 by 160. It's not the biggest throw ever, but it's quite thick. It's really, really sumptuous. If I show you even by the side, look. Look how thick it is. It's looking a bit like a dead cat. But <laughs> once you fluff it up, guys, this would be so nice. <gasps> love it. Just love it. I just love it. You know there's something you just love it? That's one of them. Right, what else can I show you? Right, I think that's all I've got in terms of like um, non-essential items. And, uh, yeah, let's move it forward. Right, so when I was in store, I picked up this Fabulosa all-in-one disinfectant spray. 
and it's called Rainbow Drops. And it actually smells like them rainbow sweets, like a mixture of, of all flowery sweets. And that's that one. And um, what I like about this spray, that it's a dry spray because I'm trying to, to kind of get away from the wet um, sprays that I, I had quite a lot of. And also, like, I don't mind making up my sprays like I used to make up um, my solutions. But then when you, when you, if, you if you've got a squirter that is a bit, um, like the hole's a little bit big, it squirts a lot of liquid and I don't like a lot of liquid. So um, I'm beginning to move more towards these dry, fine mist sprays. Um, so that came in at, uh, I think it was 99p for that one. Let me check on my, my receipt. I have got my receipt here, guys. No, I lie, I lie. It's um, Fabulosa 149. 149 for that Fabulosa. And also what I saw in there, which I was, oh, I saw it, I was in love with it straight away. These hand, these hand um, gels. And this one is a liquid hand soap and it's coconut and rose water. Doesn't that look beautiful? It just looks so elegant, guys. And this is a 149 and I love it. It just looks nice. Do you know what? I don't know if you're the same, but if I see something that's attractive like that, I just keep washing my hands for no reason. Because it just keeps drawing you, doesn't it? And that's what I'm like. Listen, if I've got ugly hand washing in there, I am not bothered. But when you've got something pretty, you're like, yes, I love a bit of that. You're just drawn to it. They had another one as well. And this one was aloe vera and jasmine. And this is a healing one. Well, they actually, they've actually got names of them. So this is more for healing. And this other one, it says hydrate. All right. So that's rose and coke. Rose. Let me start again. This is coconut and rose water, and this is for hydration. This one is aloe vera and jasmine, and that's for healing. Doesn't that look nice as well? They look, they just look gorgeous. 149. I mean, I don't know how moisturizing they are, because what I have noticed that lately is that if you're buying certain um, you know, gel soaps, some are not very moisturizing. Especially if you're washing your hands, you know, really, really regular or you live in a hard water area. I live in a hard water area, so I have to keep moisturising my hands straight afterwards. And some creams, they just don't do it as well. So if the if the hand wash has got a little bit of moisturisation in it, then yeah. So anyway, let's keep moving. Um, the other thing I picked up in terms of, uh, I picked this up and this is a pack of heavy duty gloves. And this is um, three pounds. Reason why I got this, guys, is because um, with all this, this sort of like um, leaves and storms we've been having lately, I had to go and clean out my, my my drains the other day just to save any blockage. And the ordinary gloves you have, marigold, no, heavy duty gloves. Yep, yeah, that's what that's for. I also picked up a box of tissue. Not much to say about that except it's pretty and cute and it's pink. And it's about sixty nine p for a box of tissues. Uh, what else did I pick up? I picked up um, some of my favourite noodles. This is chicken and curry flavour. I think I picked up about four of these. Yeah. I've got four of these and these are 32p each. And I must say, guys, these are one of the best um, noodles that I've found. They are so tasty. And they're just, you know what? Some people eat them as a complete snack. I like to eat them alongside of a meal. So like, for example, if I have... Um, like chicken roast like roast chicken and i've got rice and gravy and you put a little bit of char mein on the side yeah i like i like my plate to have variety so this is quite a nice accompaniment or it's quite nice as an individual little snack if that's the sort of person you are but i like meat on my food don't give me no noodle and ain't no ain't no meat on it yeah i said it right orange club i got a pack of those and this was a pound and you get seven in there as usual I also picked up six ready sorted crisps and this was for 149. Um, not a particular bargain really guys, but I wanted ready sorted. I find that the bigger the bigger the pack you pick up, the cheaper it is. When you pick up these six packs, it wavers between a pound and a pound fifty. So that's yeah, pack of um, six Walker ready sorted crisps. And guys, you know what I've really been getting into lately? These. 
these are the walkers um max and these are crinkled but you know what i've done the other day the other day i bought the strong version i nearly had to call the fire brigade i know i know you shouldn't joke about them things but when i say my mouth was on fire i was like water even when i drank the water the thing was like my ears were like my mouth was, my eyes were what don't play with it guys if you can't manage heat don't buy the strong i'm telling you so i went and bought the ordinary one because i ain't got no time for no fireman sam business let's keep it moving backup pack of malted milk i had to call on my reserves the other day so i'm going to replenish it and this one i think is about 49p for that pack oh the um walkers crisp were 149 as well put myself up some marvel cheapest place i've seen marvel at this size 139 in um b&m so yeah always have to get myself a couple of tins of these because it's the best price i've seen it at yeah so this is new this is a Maltese biscuits oh no it's mint oh hell no i hate mint chocolate oh, i just thought it was pretty why did i do this to myself mint Maltesers. what a hideous thing you guys might like it I don't like mint chocolate, period. Period with the two D's on the end, period. Don't like it. Okay, nobody goes might like it. I was just so mesmerized when I was in the shop that I'm picking up all kinds of stuff. I saw these. Digestives, cherry bakewell flavor. Have you ever heard of such a thing? I can't imagine it, can you? That was a pound. I just bought it for the girls. Because what we come out to do sometimes, when we're having our movie nights, we like to test out all these weird things. And then what you find sometimes, you test out the weird things, you actually end up liking them. So I just thought I'd try that. They had another one called um, Digestives, like morning breakfast. Like, how does Digestives take up breakfast? But anyway, I, I said, I ain't, I ain't trying that one. Let somebody else try it out. Love us ain't got time up some uh dog roll and this was 199 and you get nine in here and it says wow i don't really think that's a wow price really but you know what you need to pick some up anyway it says three layers of quality softness let's hope so we'll soon see so guys that's my haul for today i think i've kept you long enough with tigger and her antics and um i hope you I hope you enjoyed the haul, what I brought you today. I hope you see some things that you like. And um, yeah, I'm really happy with a lot of this haul. I'm not happy with this though. But anyway, Lois, I need to get over it. Stop holding on to things. It's not good for you. I need to release it into the atmosphere. And don't take it on. So anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And let's hope that we get to 3,000. And if you haven't subscribed, please do, guys, because I'm hoping by the time you see this, we're going to hit our goal. But we're still going to keep going anyway. We're still going to keep going to our first birthday and see what we get to. But let's, let's, let's pray that we have hit the goal by the time this video comes out. I'm sorry about the clapping, guys. It's putting noise in your ears you don't want to hear. But, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. And I'll see you real soon on the next video. Take care, guys. Bye. Tigger says bye as well. All right, Tigger wants to come. Come to Tigger. All right, let me, let me pan the camera down. You might be able to see her. No, all you're just seeing is just more of my, um, yeah, what you don't need to see. Okay, hello. One minute. Come. Oh, oh. Tigger, people want to see you. Look. There she is. Look. Oh, now she's being all funny. All right, you want to walk on me? Oh, Lord. This is what she likes. She likes to just walk on people like... Like, my name's Roadside.
See you later, guys. I ain't got time for this cat today because she's on some tomfoolery business. So, yeah, I'll see you later.